Wait, you, do you can. Do you have any plastic surgery? Yes. Fake tits? <laughs> yeah. Lip fillers? Yeah. BBL? What? BBL? No, but thank you. No, but. Okay. <laughs> no, but. Lipo? <laughs> yes, to put into the... Into the yeah. titties. Yes. Can you really be authentic? You know what I mean. Okay, I, saw, <laughs> I see you what you're saying. There. You um, went there, right? That's you, understandable. You know what I mean. <laughs> understandable. Understandable. Um, but I was truthful about it, you know? So you asked me, and I was like, yeah, absolutely, I did do that. And but so that are, is me at this well, point, right? I, uh, perhaps in your, well, in your physical appearance, you're inauthentic. In the sense of, like, are you all naturally yourself? Um, well, yeah, I mean, I answered that. I said, I said no. Gotcha. I kind of meant more authentic in personality. Like, there's no smoke and mirrors. I'll be, like, true like, like to myself. Like you're honest and upfront I'll, about I'm who true you to are. myself. Um, okay. But, yeah, I do, like, partake in some... There's very few women who are truly authentic. I mean, we all color our hair. We all wax our eyebrows. Most girls wear makeup. Like There's degrees. There's, there's degrees, degrees of authenticity, but... It. Well, because what, what I was... Ryan wants the armpit here. What the... F no, 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 no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now that's grooming. authentic. want some armpit hair. There's <laughs> grooming, and then there's BBLs and, like, all that kind of crazy mm -hmm. shit. What, what I see on dating apps, I'll see, like, a woman who's like, oh, I'm really about people who are real and genuine and authentic. And every single photo of them on the dating app, full face of makeup, filter, lip filler... <laughs> fake tits, I'm like, bruv. Bruv. You are not authentic in your physical appearance. You are, in fact, you're kind of misrepresenting your physical appearance on the dating app, and it's, it's pretty, I think it's very inauthentic. You could, not just in your physical appearance, but the fact that you are misrepresenting, because obviously, for both men and women, physical appearance is very important. Physical attractiveness is very important, I think probably most girls here would agree. I think men probably care a little bit more about physical appearance than women do. I would say a lot more. I think women care about it quite a lot, but I think probably men are pretty invested in it. So when you're misrepresenting on these dating apps, oh, I, big old fake titties, lip fillers, makeup, face filters. Wait, are you And there's not one photo of you that's like, here's me without any makeup. I think that's, uh, that's akin to a man basically lying about his career. Oh, I'm rich. I'm a, I'm a doctor. I'm an attorney. Um, well, don't you think that like maybe like the guy would be like, I want to get on a FaceTime with you, get to know you a little bit before we go out onto and a date, and, and, and then maybe they would... Full face of makeup, and they're using good lighting, and not like... That's fair. I think something it's for just... me personally, um, so I've... Uh, something that I struggle with, because obviously I am a content creator, mm -hmm. and I'm on like TikTok and different things like that, and so when I came into the sphere as making that kind of content, I was like struggling with like, why don't I look like all the other girls I'm seeing? And so I fell into like those things. Um, and so it seems like it does help you make more money to do that. But then something that I was able to kind of like test out with my particular following um, is a lot of them wanted me to start going live. A lot of them wanted me to go live on Twitter and I was just really honest with them and I was like, look, I feel awkward because there's always like a filter on and things like that. And so like I'm sitting here like uh, being vulnerable and I'm not on a filter and blah, blah, blah. And um, I was just really honest about it because I was like, I feel like look one this way, but now I'm representing like my true self and people were really kind. Mm -hmm. They were like, we like you better this way. Like keep coming on Twitter. Awesome. Like. You know, so I don't know if it really is necessarily, it's kind of, and this is exactly does that give you why, any kind of like answer to some not, of that or more information? I, I'm not sure, but this is exactly why we ought to elevate women who are just moving in their natural beauty mm -hmm. and don't feel like if we're elevating fucking Kim Kardashian, of course, fucking a ton of young yep. women yep. who are impressionable are going to be like, whoa, I don't look like that. Okay, let me go get a fucking BVL. Let me go get some fake tits. Let me go get lip filler. Let me fuck up my face. Let me go get botched. <laughs> I don't think we should be... Um, what are these 20-year-olds going to look true. like in 20 years yes. with all this filler? Exactly. Like, yeah. It's going to be yeah. insane. Can I say you I think have guys are a lot nicer about it than me, So I look like really bad on this show. What? No, you, you look amazing, Amy. Straight down this studio is fantastic. You, <laughs> and you guys I'm, look very I'm curious to know your thoughts on something, Brian, and What's you up? guys as well. So I, I have a friend 
he met a girl on a dating app and she looked incredible on the app like mm-hmm. amazing she drove from fort lauderdale to miami to come down and meet with him they met up in the apartment briefly for drinks before going out on the town and this girl looked nothing like mm-hmm. any of her pictures now i don't necessarily agree with how he handled it what he did was he said okay let's go downstairs we're gonna go to the club they walked downstairs and he said, oh, I left my phone in my apartment. <laughs> he went back upstairs and texted her and he said, I'm sorry, like, I'm just not about it. Like, and honestly, like, you're... I think that's okay Be a do. little bit more authentic with what you're marketing. Yeah, I, I my think... My man. <laughs> I mean, I think probably... Curved. Shout out, Tim. <laughs> I think he I handled that okay. I mean, it, perhaps he could have done it in a more... No, I think way, way. Like, I, th- I know. Yeah, you can I do it in a respectful way, but if you mm-hmm. catfish the absolute hell out of somebody, like, mm-hmm. and then you, you and then you it. curve that person, it's like mm-hmm. whatever, you know. Like, I, I, I don't know. Yeah, I'd be I mean, so mad if I got super catfished by a chick like that. Right. Yeah. I mean, I think I worst. I think I have a pretty good eyeball, f- like a vision for when the girls like are really filtered and. Yeah, but I think mm-hmm. some men are not quite as attuned to like, oh, just. Th- filter no no because i couldn't tell when i first started i was like oh my god why does everyone look absolutely perfect yeah so it took me a long time to figure it out so what do they uh, think is gonna happen though when they like see the person in real life well that's what's just weird that's what is happening with a lot of like instagram models is they put so many filters and so many different things on and then when Mm -hmm. people meet them in real life they look nothing and i think that's really sad they have like those those um those pages that out them Mm -hmm. and you see the ones that yeah i just i just think it's going to be really sad when you're an old lady looking back at those pictures with your friends your family those selfies of you like you're going to look back on them with regret for not embracing the beauty that you the beauty that you were yeah i I know i look back when i was 19 and and i'm like oh i was awful and you look back at 19 now and you're like like, wow yeah dang i wish i could look like 19 again like i feel like you're depriving your future self of those feelings and kids and so many so many other things absolutely absolutely Absolutely. Absolutely. I used to face tune a lot of pictures and stuff like that, and I literally deleted like my Instagram has very minimal pictures on it. I deleted every single face tune picture, every picture that was edited. Um, and well, I get why women do it because like if it's kind of like let's say you're a professional athlete mm-hmm. and everybody else is on steroids and you're not, your career prospects are going to mm-hmm. be minimized because you're yes. not you know you're not doing the status quo everyone else is doing you're not able to be competitive with the other athletes Mm -hmm. so i i mean it makes sense to me why women do it because every other almost every other woman Mm -hmm. is blasted in full face of makeup filters Mm -hmm. and like and it's hard it's makeup's not enough anymore yeah, yeah, exactly. You fucking yeah. yeah, you have like Photoshop. straight up AI like changing mm-hmm. the structure of women's mm-hmm. faces. There was an AI, lip There's an AI on <laughs> Instagram. She has her entire like she's not even a real person, and she has there's like a, there's a lot of pages like that. She has like five hundred you know, you know thousand followers, yeah. and she's not even real. You, you know what's crazy is like dudes will figure out how to make women in AI, yeah. and then they'll they'll like interact with the women. Other dudes. That yeah, they'll interact made. with the dudes. No, they'll yeah. interact with like like. So like, say like I was one of these guys, I like go on an AI, create a profile for some like fake AI girl, then a bunch of dudes start following the girl and then they'll message the guy, the guys that are following them and be like, oh, hey baby, all this the stuff. The ultimate catfish. Mm-hmm. Then, then they will make nude photos of the woman through AI, open an OnlyFans, and then guys will buy that. Smart. Oh my God. It's oh. I, it's like That's it's and it's, the guys it's know evil, that but it's like an insane an AI? hustle. No, no, they don't. What? No idea. And the guys know that they're buying an AI OnlyFans. I mean, or? it's like usually like dumb dudes that are following these like oh, okay, women. Okay. You know? Like if you if close. you really look at it, you can tell it's yeah. fake. Because she's but, like, imposed in Italy and she's imposed in. Well, Rome, you can like, tell because like you'll look at the details on the body and you can tell the hands. Like, and nobody's that perfect. If you look at the hands, yeah. But the but but the 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 AI girls are like unbelievable beautiful in terms of like the symmetry of their faces and stuff so guys it's will fall and be like oh my gosh <laughs> and then they buy their only fans oh my gosh it's Based. a freaking crazy Watch out. time ai chicks are coming for your jobs okay um <laughs> yeah but i mean just AI really quick when it comes to the, the plastic jobs. surgery stuff like i my personal position is let's say take a girl who had an a cup or she was totally flat i would prefer that than her with big giant fake titties you know or like her butt's not that big. I prefer like a flat, <laughs> what? I prefer flat big butt. Big giant fake titties. <laughs> then like 
uh, BBL, or I'd even prefer a girl with a little, if she got a little belly fat, like when you, okay, if you bend over like this, you're going to get a little scrunch, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Unless your body fat percentage is really fucking low. Like if you're bending over or something, you're going to get a little belly. So I would prefer a little belly than a girl who has the lipo belly. You know well, what I'm saying? Love that about you, but the, <laughs> thin, thin <lip. laughs> but the numbers lip. don't lie. Over I've, the lip filler. I've been, I was, before I became an OnlyFans creator, I've only been doing OnlyFans for less than a year, but yeah. I was a stripper for the last 11 years. Word. And um, when I was smaller chested, yes, I made good money, but after I got the little work done or whatever um, my it. money went up every time i did really? something different every single time I'm okay i mean yeah so i, I mean get, i get it i guess but they, you're few and far in between give me some fucking Brian. eight cups over some giant fucking fake titties that's all i'm saying let's say brian's right, talking right about the context you. of dating versus being in a strip club where they're like explicitly going there to get like turned that's on true, right versus true. a guy who's looking to date that ideal kind of girl that makes sense yeah. i mean even okay but even like if I'm thinking... Even sexually? Well, I'm thinking... Yeah, even sexually. You're turned off by it? Like, even I, for, I, like, I, a one-night I, stand I, or I, something? Yes, I personally like, yeah. Yes, yeah. I, would, yeah. I would prefer, like, a more natural... Mm-hmm. Even if things she got... Okay, so... Itty-bitty titty committee? Like, you're I'm, all about it? I am the fucking... These big labia matters. I am the yeah. <laughs> co-chair of the itty-bitty itty titty committee, whatever the fuck it's called. Amazing. You'd, um, you'd have three people. <laughs> was that? You'd have <laughs> three, three subscribers. Well, you know what's crazy? <laughs> if you look at... If you look at... Um, Greek sculptures mm-hmm. or ancient sculptures, right, of women. They, were, they don't have these sense. giant fucking knockers. They've got like, what? Little they got A cups or B cups. They're not wow. like, you know, you know what I mean. Um, so, uh, <laughs> you know, you that's know, you know, you know what my problem beauty. is with women who get a lot of work done. I feel like I'm getting catfished as to what my children's genetics so look true. like. That's a very good point. So you, know you, know very, you ask dude, them, very good you ask them for very pictures of themselves. Before they got the work done, I yeah. mean, it's I mean, I can I can spot it for, from like a mile away, but like if I, if I was with a chick and I found out she had a ton of work done, I'd be like, "Yo, what are you, you looking at? What what you well, what's a ton? Like? Yeah. I mean, women will like totally change what their faces look like, you know, and then you have no idea what the original even looked like. Like some women will get like crazy nose jobs where their nose will look totally different from what it looked like before, and it's like I want to know what that looked like before. Mm-hmm. 